Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Doing a, a tribal ruck this morning. We have quite a few show up, but there's several that aren't here. But it's because uh, several of our of our crew, our team, uh, went off yesterday to a, a place to get some professional training in the school. So they didn't get back till late last night and they're kind of recuperating. So, but we still have a good crew out here this morning. It's the kind of stuff you need to be doing. You can get, you can have times that it's just the men because men need time with other men to do men things and grunt and scratch ourselves and, you know, pound the ground kind of thing. Uh, but we also do this stuff with children uh, even women sometimes, if they want to, they can come along because as a tribe, we need to know how to do this kind of stuff. Speaking of that, wanted to talk to you today about how bad things could get. And I don't think, I don't know that everyone is completely on board and understands the reality of how bad it could get. I've said this so many times that I think that because we've lived in such a safe, comfortable environment that it's caused so many people to not realize how violent humans can be, how bad things can get. We're starting to see that around the country. We're starting to see certain cities that are just becoming more and more violent. So people that are doing things that are just absolutely awful with, you know, over a quarter million illegals pouring through just the southern border alone, and many of them from all over the world. And then mental problems, all the chemicals that's causing mental problems, stuff in the air, radio waves, in people's bodies, the hatred, the love waxing cold. Things are gonna get crazy. They are in some places and they're gonna continue. And that's what we really have to be gearing ourselves up for because I think it's going to shock a lot of people. <clears throat> I have spoken to many people in our group and others uh, in other places that we should put a high priority on protecting the weaker in our, in our tribe. You know, not, not everyone in a tribe can be former special forces. Not, I'm not knocking any of you former Green Berets. I'm just saying, not everyone can be that. Not everyone needs to be that. And there are women and children and elderly that need to be protected. And we need to have plans for that, to build walls around them. You know, this evilness that's happening in the world, it especially has our children in the crosshairs. They, they are seeking to consume and devour our children. And I don't think that that's that, that, I'm not speaking, you know, hyperbolic or hypothetical or anything. It's, a, it's an absolute fact. They are working to consume our children, their mind, their soul, and even to some extent, their bodies. And so we have to figure out ways and plans to build walls around them of protection. Maybe literal physical walls and figurative walls, but we have to do that. Uh, we have to protect them. We have to, the same way with women. Um, I know that this is not a popular topic in this modern era of feminism and equality, but the reality is, is that the vast majority of human existence, um, women, well, they were a target also, and they were preyed upon. I'm not going into a long, drawn-out talk on this, but, I mean, that's how wedding rings came about and all this kind of stuff that's why at certain points in human history um multiple marriages were okay i'm not advocating i'm not one of those guys i don't look i don't think people are horrible but i don't it's i don't advocate multiple marriages but there was a time and a place for it at certain points in human history and it was to protect women that's going to happen again you look up your history of what happened in the uh Eastern Europe when communism fell and all those countries just started falling apart and fighting each other and stuff. 
Uh, look what happened in Venezuela and many other places in Africa and stuff where, you know, society is just so dysfunctional that it's uh, chaotic. Um, women are vulnerable, so we need to protect them. We need to see ourselves as a, as men, as a, as the protectors. That's what we were meant to be. That's our job to protect, to provide, to preside. And, and once again, we need to be doing that. I could see it come to a point for many of you, including even here out in the woods where <clears throat> there may still be government. There may still be a, a functioning system, but it's so bad that, you know, if your wife needs to go to the grocery store, she can't go alone. Um, she can't go alone. She has to have, and it may even get to where a husband and wife can't go because that's not enough. You may need to go out in teams. You know, you may need to go out with at least, you know, two guys capable of shooting and, and defense while the, the two ladies gather the food. I know this sounds kind of out there and extreme, but it's very possible that we could see that. There may come a day that you don't want to be taking the children outside of the tribe. Um, and maybe you don't all live on the same property. I get that. Most of you don't. We don't all live on the same property. There's only very few that I know of that do. But, you know, if we had to go to town, it may become too dangerous to take our children. And so we drop them off as a trusted tribe member uh, to let them take care of them. I personally think that homeschooling um, will be in the crosshairs of the left soon. I don't know when, but I think it's going to happen soon. I've seen a lot of comments and activity online recently from far left people and some very influential ones talking about how homeschooling is dangerous and should be outlawed because parents are able to teach their children to be racists and homophobes and all this kind of stuff. There's a current case right now you may have uh, heard about it. Um, Zach Bauer with an American Homestead and Glenn Beck have talked about it and I think a few others. It's a German family that came here um, seeking asylum something like 15 years ago because they wanted to homeschool their children because of religious beliefs and Germany wouldn't let them and so we granted it here and now all of a sudden out of nowhere for no reason whatsoever uh, the government is saying that they're kicking them out. Well they've been here long enough that they've had more children. Some of their children have had children and they're being told, all of them, leave, you gotta leave. I mean, it's okay if you cross the border illegally and break laws and don't contribute much, but these people, they've, there's never been any law that they can tell that they've ever broken. They've contributed greatly to society. They've been upstanding, you know, people here in America and they're kicking them out. I think homeschooling is gonna be in the crosshairs and the day that that we have to hide our children again uh, and even more so than what was once done in the United States maybe sooner than you think so we have to prepare for that kind of stuff too this is where working as a as a group as a team as a tribe and community comes in play it may not be advisable to take your children out in public because there's so much violence and there's so many kidnappings. I mean, all that stuff is on the rise. It could end up being like some dystopian movie where, you know, only the men that are trained and that are prepared can go in and do business and then, you know, get back to the compound kind of thing. You should be thinking about this kind of stuff. I think the level of violence that we will see, it's gonna be great. Uh, already it is, but it is going to just, it's going to be shock and awe. I don't think most Americans are really prepared for that. So doing this kind of stuff, you see a couple of the, the little ones there in the back, a couple of the girls, one of them's my daughter. Um, this kind of stuff is so necessary. You know, we come out here and we, we're of course exercising. This is a six and a half mile ruck that we do. And I make the video on the flat part 
because I don't want to be <laughs> too much uh, when we're going up and down the hills and crossing creek beds and wet creeks and all that kind of stuff. But it's not a, a simple uh, ruck. It's, it's, you know, it's a good moderate one at least. So it's ex there's good exercise. We do training when we're up here sometimes. But the big thing that we do is that we build bonds. We build bonds with each other. And that's what you need to be doing. You need to be finding other people and figuring out that they're trustworthy and then spending time together to build bonds. Because when all this starts really falling apart, I mean, there's pieces and chunks of it falling off now, but when the floodgates break through and we're inundated and overwhelmed with all this evilness, other than your relationship with God the Father and His Son, the only other people you're going to have is your tribe. And you better make sure it's a good one. And you better make sure you have close, tight bonds and that you're all prepared for this. Folks, it's time to get your houses in order and to prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.